डिजाइन फिलोसॉफी एंड कॉजेस ऑफ अर्थक्वेक फेल्योर दिस इज चेतन जी कोनापुरे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वर्ल्ड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर नाउ दिस इज द लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब द कॉजेस ऑफ अर्थक्वेक फेल्योर्स एंड लेट अस सी द डिजाइन फिलोसॉफी नाउ द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज अर्थक्वेक रेजिस्टेंट डिजाइन is a part of normal design procedure earthquake process uh, forces must be considered along with other loads like dead load and live load analysis should be carried out for equivalent earthquake forces similar to dead load and imposed loads means one thing is there this uh, equivalent earthquake uh, forces its analysis and for a design is the entire philosophy of the design third is load combination of earthquake forces are similar to wind loads as wind loads are considered uh, with the dead load and uh, live load those combinations are also same in earthquake forces also how we uh, in the sense of uh, wind loads are considered or added or subtracted in the dead load live loads in this way uh, earthquake forces are also considered now the design philosophy is explained here how the forces are applied and how these are considered now here the one rectangular structure is shown here you know, both uh, the sides are orthogonal to each other now consider the earthquake forces in mutual perpendicular directions but one at a time this is the earthquake load in x direction length of the building is considered as x width of the building is considered as y and one time this elx shall be applied then uh, the for, uh, forces shall be applied analysis shall be carried out determine the all reactive components like bending moment shear force sway displacements deflections each and everything and then apply earthquake load in y direction so one load in one at one time that is the philosophy for these uh, structures which are having orthogonal directions or perpendicular directions to each other suppose the buildings uh, doesn't have perpendicular axis of symmetry like this building so these two sides are oblique to adjacent sizes and there is no symmetry and in this, this case earthquake load in x direction elx earthquake load in y direction both shall be considered simultaneously in these types of structures only okay now next thing is uh, earthquake forces are considered and these are reversible also because these are um, the periodic type of forces so elx uh, when it is considered in the direction of x it shall be considered as positive force and when the direction is changing it only it is denoted as negative that is minus elx means the opposite to the first direction so once elx shall be applied in towards right second way the elx shall be applied towards left now this leads to many earthquake load combinations for determining design forces towards right same earthquake load same magnitude towards left the same force or same magnitude especially these directions are for lateral forces when the vertical component of the earthquake load is considered then upward earthquake force or load or downward earthquake load or force that shall be considered these two directions in vertical loading directions in the horizontal loading that will govern different earthquake load combinations now earthquake design resistant design philosophy aims to design economical but safe buildings economy is okay but most important is safety in the earthquake next is a very important point that is the actual earthquake forces are much higher than the design forces means what for the forces for which we are designing our structure these are lower than the actual earthquake forces which will come during the earthquake now the structural safety is ensured by permitting specified type of damage at pre determined locations through ductile behavior means the structural safety how it is ensured we are allowing the damage damage definitely it will come but we are permitting the specific type of damage and the damage location it is pre determined how it is possible and that is possible only by ductile behavior of the structure 
डक्टाइल बिहेवियर विल एश्योर यू द स्पेसिफाइड टाइम एंड डैमेज एट स्पेसिफाइड और प्री डिटरमाइंड लोकेशन ओके नो हियर इज द इम्पॉर्टेंट नोट आफ्टर ऑल द कंसिडरेशन द डिजाइन फिलोसॉफी ऑल पॉसिबल सेफ्टी मार्जिन हैव ऑलरेडी बीन यूज बाय द आई एस कोड इन द आई एस कोड मे बी यूर आई एस फोर फाइव सिक्स ऑफ आर सी सी आई एस अदर रिलीवेंट आई एस फॉर द लोडिंग्स आई एस एटीन नाइनटी थ्री पी टी विच इज फॉर द अर्थ क्विक बट इन दो कोड सेफ्टी मार्जिन ऑलरेडी कंसिडर्ड वायोलेशन ऑफ एनी एनालिसिस डिजाइन डिटेलिंग और कंस्ट्रक्शन स्पेसिफिकेशन मे रिजल्ट इन कैटेस्ट्रॉपिक कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस सिंस द बिल्डिंग डजेंट हैव हिडन मार्जिन्स means there is no any term consideration regard like factor of safety or over strength or those types of any hidden margins are not there so don't violate the analysis uh, methodology don't violate any design methodology detailing must be proper and during execution of the construction specification if any violation has been done for all those three four stages of the structure catastrophic consequences will be there that cannot be avoided okay now through this photographs uh, we will discuss one by one what are the key feature key point in those photographs if you observe this this is ratnan village and uh, all structures have collapsed instead of this this uh, structure this building has uh, survived why this building has survived the reason is rcc bands have been provided in that this building that's why it has survived all other structures fail only provision of one uh, earthquake fear resistant feature that rcc bands at different levels that has survived this building now this is the building g plus 1 2 3 4 4 right so five five story building but there is a stiffness discontinuity that's why the building has failed and the collapse has occurred now it is a multi story building i think the number of stories are more than 10 and the building is at the amdabad but it has failed due to the soft story effect soft story is the story in which the lateral stiffness of the building is very low than the average of three uh, successive stories but the soft story failure has occurred in this building that's why it has collapsed one more example of the soft story there are two adjacent structures g plus 2 if you observe this structure the ground structure has completely failed and the building has come down and this has uh, failed as a soft story and uh, earthquake hit the soft story and completely collapsed the building collapsed the soft story and the building has come down okay now here if you observe the corner column that is uh, damaged so non uniform mass distribution is observed here so this is the building at amdabad the, the failure due to heavy mass near the corner leading to shearing of the column here the section column section is sheared off some uh, non uniform mass distribution is there are some heavy mass it is located here at this corner okay now very good uh, architectural features are in this building the problem is that the faulty conceptual design and what is the faulty conceptual design is there floating column this is the floating column column is taken from the beam so from ground floor there uh, the parking story and columns are there from first floor uh, for slab or beams the columns are taken have taken and which are floating columns so this is a very faulty design and definitely earthquake will hit this joint of column in structure this is improper proportioning very good example and that i have explained that the we should uh, we should not practice this because beams are heavier than the column so it is improper proportioning that's why the columns have failed first and here this is the example of improper construction practice also now there is one question after observing all the, the philosophy as well as this this photographs what is the good the conceptual design feature from following there are four uh, uh, options given which uh, will is the more favorable or more feasible uh, approach or design feature pause the video give the answer the answer is strong column weak beam weak beam is doesn't mean that the beam is weak 
columns are stronger than the beam sections of the beam so this is the philosophy this is the design feature shall be considered now one more photograph that is the inadequate detailing of the columns failure due to discontinuous longitudinal reinforcement this has occurred somewhere in the member and it is observed now this is the concluding remark for uh, this presentation this uh, entire session that all safety margins have been utilized already code based design gives reliable safety code base iit 93 is 456 all reliable code shall be used it uh, gives reliable safety brittle failures to be avoided materially or structurally any structure shall not fail the brittle in brittle mode material shall not fail in the brittle mode ductility of rcc can be increased by proper enforcement laterally and longitudinally both laterally is also important lateral enforcement in member plays a key role in the achieving earthquake resistance especially stirrups confinement of the concrete is assured by this lateral enforcement proper detailing and good quality of the construction leads to safe structures this is the reference which is used for this uh, presentation thank you